Hello friends, this is a part 4 of solved paper of Statistical Mechanics C14, Dibrugar University, 6th semester, 2023. So before we start, please do subscribe the channel, hit the thumbs up button, also share with your friends, inspire me to create new contents for you and, and uh, help me to grow my channel and inspire me to create new contents for you. And if you want to follow me on Insta, this is my Insta ID. O J H A L A K H Y A J I T one twenty three. This is my Insta ID. You can follow me on Insta. Okay. So now let's start. We have already solved up to question number four. Today we're gonna start with question number five. So this is question number five A. So let me show you the answer of question number five A. So answer to question number five A starts from here. Five A. Okay. So this is the first page take the skin sort okay and this is the second page and this is the third piece pause the video and take the skin sort this is the fourth piece right this is the sixth page sorry not sixth fifth right fifth piece last one was uh, fourth piece this is fifth and uh, then next this is sixth piece okay take the skin sort this is the seventh right let me go to the next piece this is the eighth piece okay and uh, this is the ninth piece take the skin sort this is the tenth okay take the skin sort this is 11th next page is this one 12th right next one is 13th right take the skin sort okay and this is 14th phase and here is the last piece of this answer okay let me show you uh, one by one again first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh twelfth thirteenth fourteenth fifteenth oh, no only fourteenth okay so now we have one more question in question of 5a that is question of 5a or either we have to answer this question or this one i have already made videos this one question of 5a or 5a or and 5ab i have already made uh, videos and links are in the description box i have written question number 5a or then i have given the link then question number 5b i have given the link okay and now question number 5b or is also there. there this one is question number question number 5b or okay so let's solve this uh, question okay here the uh, you know fermi energy conduction uh, of conduction electrons in silver is this this is uh, given 5.8 electron volt calculate the number of such electrons per centimeter cube given that Planck's constant in arc second right and one electron volt is this that is given then there is a one more part we will go to uh, uh, that uh, in, uh, first uh, let us solve this one okay so here you see we know that fermi energy ef is equal to that is ac square that is plus constant by 2m into 3n divided by 8 pi v whole to the power 2 by 3 remember this formula that's very important so what we can do here now e to the power f uh, sorry e by uh, e f to the power 3 by 2 will be equal to will be equal to here uh, h cube because if you multiply here uh, 3 by 2 then 2 2 will be cancelled so we're gonna get h cube by twice m to the power 3 by 2 into 3n by 
एट पाई भी सो वाई वी हैव डन दिस टू फाइंड द एन बाय भी दिस एन बाय भी गिव्स द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब देर फोर नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नंबर ऑफ सॉरी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पर सेंटीमीटर क्यूब एन बाय भी That's going to be equal to 2m whole to the power 3 by 2, ef to the power 3 by 2, then 8 pi divided by 3 h cube. That's what we're going to have, right? Now let's put the values given uh, in the question. So let me copy this and let me go to the next slide. So here is new slide. Let me put the values here. Two into m. M is the mass of electron. Now we are going to calculate electrons per centimeter cube. So let's put the mass of electron in CGS unit. That is, uh, you know, nine point one into ten to the power minus twenty eight. If you write in MKS then it gonna be minus thirty one but uh, now we are going to write in CGS because uh, we need a number of uh, electrons per centimeter cube so that's why so be careful with the units okay then into uh, let me write the Fermi energy is given in electron volt right Fermi energy this EF is given in electron volt let me go back to the question here. 5.8. So EF is given here 5.8 electron volt. So now let me uh, convert this one into uh, this one into arg. Okay. So that's going to be 5.8 into 10 to the power because one arg is given 1.62 into 10 to the power minus 12. This must arg. Right. So let me convert. Uh, uh, in arcs in CGS system because we are going to find the number of electrons per centimeter cube centimeter cube is in sense uh, in uh, CGS so this is the value we're going to use EF value of EF so let's put this value of EF here whole to the power 3 by 2 whole to the power 3 by 2 into 8 pi into 8 pi by 3 into and Planck's constant is given right in the equation uh, this is the value this is in arc second okay so if it is if given in joule second then convert it into arc second because we need to find a number of uh, here you see electrons per centimeter cube if you are asked to find electrons per meter cube then you have to convert those electrons in SI units uh, sorry yeah, those units uh, you have to convert those units into SI units okay so remember that so now 6.62 into 10 to the power minus 27 we're gonna put here 6.62 into 10 to the power minus 27 whole to the power 3 right that's what we have put so let me check the answer uh, so here you see 2 2 to the power 3 by 2 9.1 into uh, 9.1 to the power 3 by 2 so we can write 2 into 9.1 whole to the power 3 by 2 let me write that way into 10 to the power minus 28 into 3 by 2 so then it's gonna be 14 into 3 that means uh, minus 28 into 3 by 2 that's gonna be 14 so minus here okay, it's gonna be sorry 42 right so it's gonna be minus 42 so let me write here directly minus 42 right into uh, uh, and one more thing one more thing just uh, let me write this one here so we can keep within bracket we can use these values also 5.8 into 
1.62 as well the powers on these numbers also 3 by 2 then into 10 to the power minus 12 into 3 by 2 that means 10 to the power minus 18 right uh, 2 cancels this 6 6 3 is 18 right then 8 into 3.14 3.14 right divided by 3 into uh, 6.62 into 10 to the power minus 27 whole to the power 3 okay so here <coughs> i'm going to use calculator and uh, using calculator let me write this is going to be approximately 6 into 10 to the power 22 uh, let me go to the next part of the question here you see this part the fermi energy of silver at 0 kelvin is this find the average kinetic energy we know that uh, the average kinetic energy is given by uh, 3 by 5 times of fermi energy at absolute 0 but i don't know why this 3 marks is given for this one only because here already uh, you know this fermi energy is given we just need to obtain the value of 3 by 3 by 5 times of this value 5.5 ev just calculate this this is 1.1 then you're gonna get 3.3 electron volt so this is what we got right so thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye